Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our lives, dual, spoilers recap for Wednesday March 22nd, reveals that Leo Stark, Greg Reichardt, spoke to Xander Cook, Paul Telfer, in the town square about how he didn't get much sleep last night. It turns out Leo had to sleep on a lounge sofa since Gwen Riachek, Emily O'Brien, was using their hotel room for another hookup with Alex Kuriakis, Robert Scott Wilson. That news left Xander fuming since he warned Alex to stay away from Gwen. But Leo insisted Xander wasn't in any position to tell hot people they shouldn't do what they do best. Leo made it clear that if Xander liked it, he should have put a ring on it. Next on Wednesday's Days episode, Alex impressed Gwen with more tricks in bed before admitting he had to get to Titan. After Alex asked to use the shower, Gwen suggested showering together instead and got his approval. When Xander saw Gwen and Alex walking out of the Salem Inn together, he immediately started provoking them. Xander called Alex a man slut and accused him of going after sloppy seconds, so Alex ultimately shoved him. After Xander punched Alex in response, Alex lunged at him and turned this into a full blown brawl. Gwen eventually shut down the fight and sent Alex to work before warning Xander to mind his own business. In a hallway at the Salem Inn, Chloe Lane, Nadia Bjorlin, was perplexed over a call from Statesville and accepted the charges. Kristen Demera, Stacy Heideck, was on the other end, so she gloated about Stefan Demera, Brandon Barish, dumping Chloe and acted like she was pathetic. Once Kristen pushed Chloe's buttons regarding Rachel Black, Finley Rose Slater, Chloe lost her temper and blurted out that Rachel was now a little monster. After Chloe suggested Rachel could grow up to be as deranged as her mother, Kristen was appalled over Chloe insulting her child. Chloe admitted she lost her cool and was sorry about that, but she still told Kristen off and didn't want to hear from her again. Unfortunately, Chloe didn't realize Leo was nearby, so he overheard the little monster comments and revealed that he planned to publish them in his Lady Whistleblower column. That led to Chloe following Leo back to his room, where she tried to pay him to keep this out of his gossip updates. Leo refused the cash, but he suggested he was willing to take some swag from the basic black line as payment. Chloe called Nicole Walker, Ariane Zucker, up and convinced her to have one of everything in the men's collection delivered to Leo. Once Chloe explained the blackmail situation to Xander, she received confirmation that the delivery had been made. Unfortunately, Xander got a message and revealed that Leo just turned in the column outing Chloe's insults against Rachel anyway. Chloe ranted about Leo double-crossing her and feared she'd lose Brady Black, Eric Martzolf, forever once he read what she said. Xander hugged Chloe as she cried over this horrible situation. At Titan on Wednesday's Days episode, Brady congratulated Maggie Kuriakis, Suzanne Rogers, on the CEO job and offered a bouquet of flowers. Once Brady opened up about Rachel despising Chloe, he admitted to having a rough time and not attending AH meetings lately. Maggie seemed concerned, so Brady assured her that he'd start going again. At Statesville, Brady showed up to see Kristen, who assumed Chloe told him about their little tiff over the phone. However, Brady didn't know anything about that and turned Kristen's attention to some art that Rachel had drawn for her. After Brady refused to hand that picture over, he suggested he could keep a lot more from Kristen. Brady wanted Kristen to convince Rachel that she no longer had animosity toward Chloe and that she was fine with Daddy moving on. If Kristen didn't cooperate, Brady warned that she'd never see Rachel again. Kristen finally caved in and agreed to write a letter of recommendation to Rachel about Chloe, so Brady said to make it glowing. Back at Titan on Wednesday's Duel Show, Alex arrived five minutes before an important meeting was about to start. Maggie was upset over Alex's tardiness and the fact that he had a black eye. Alex explained that Xander had given it to him, but Maggie decided she didn't want any other details. Maggie also spotted blood on Alex's shirt and refused to let him let Titan look like a gang of hooligans. Once Maggie banned Alex from the meeting and decided to fly solo instead, she insisted they needed to have a serious talk about his future at the company when she returned. Gwen found Alex soon after and blamed herself for his latest issues with Maggie, but he blamed himself for starting the fight with Xander instead. 
Although Gwen suggested maybe they should just call it quits, Alex said no way and wanted to see where this ride took them. Gwen got on board and kissed Alex to seal that decision. Meanwhile, Chad Demera, Billy Flynn, brought Stephanie Johnson, Abigail Klein, breakfast in bed to celebrate her spending her first night over at his place. Stephanie and Chad were glad they'd moved past their first fight, especially since they spent all night making up. Once Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, called and summoned them to the pub pronto, she put Chad and Stephanie to work on a press release about her victory over Sloane Peterson, Jessica Surfati. Paulina also wanted to re-up her contract with SJPR, so she took Stephanie back to her office. When Paulina and Stephanie entered, they were shocked to see the place ransacked and looking like a disaster area. Back at the pub on Wednesday's Days episode, Abe Carver, James Reynolds, seemed pleased over Chad Demera, Billy Flynn, finding happiness with Stephanie. Although Abe knew what it was like to struggle after losing a great love, he'd found happiness with Paulina, too. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Paulina's Sloan problems are only going to get worse from here, so stay tuned to see what else Sloan has in store for her. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Days of Our Lives Gossip YouTube channel for more update news.